Okay, what you are looking at is a pretty good size mango. Well, <laughs> somebody got to it a little bit before I did, but they didn't get the whole thing. And they left me a bit. So this mango here is a carry mango that was grown here at my house in Lafayette. Had this tree in a container and I was gonna plant it on the property somewhere. I'm not sure where, so it sat in my shade house. I haven't even looked at this plant for like two years. And, um, oh, there's a happy face on it too. There's the happy face. Um, anyway, I went out in the shade house and there's this giant fruit on the tree. So it shows you that, hey, you can pretty much do nothing to your tree and you can get a big fruit, right, Rhea? Yep. All right, so this is the first like fully mature, big giant fruit like fruit we've had a couple smaller fruit on trees that we've eaten they've been pretty good but anyway we're going to try this carry mango It'll be the first time i've tried a carry mango uh, as you can see it has a beautiful coloration on one side yellow and then a little bit green on the other and we'll just pretend we didn't see that um anyway i'm going to hand off my videographer uh muppy got both my daughters home from college Muppy is going to be the official videographer. She's the Muppy, the famous Muppy of uh, uh, Big Mupp Avocado. And then that over there, she's the one that's most famous for Rhea's gold, thornless agave attenuata because of her gold hair. Mm. Yeah. And so, and I'm just famous for just being weird, I guess. But anyway, here we go. We're gonna cut this thing open. And we're probably going to, first of all, cut the part off that uh, something else <laughs> ate and throw that away. All right. Here, I can see the seed in there. But, oh, beautiful color on the inside. Look at the color. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that was beautiful. Okay, we're going to get rid of this. And then... <laughs> Okay, gotta be patient. Wow! <laughs> Is it rotten? Smell it. Oh god. <laughs> it smells like mango. That is true. Mm. Okay. That smells good. Yeah. <laughs> that smells great. It smells fresh. There's a little bit of rotten spot right here. I'm gonna take that out. And then we're just gonna go to town on it. So it feels like the... Yeah, the flat part of the seed is there, so yeah, I can feel it. So we're gonna cut it like this. And right now it's uh, it's what two days before Thanksgiving. It's like November what? What's the date today? Twenty sixth. Twenty six. November twenty sixth. So in Florida, these things ripen up like in July, and these two girls know because I took them to the mango festival oh, at yeah. Fairchild Tropical Botanical Garden. And uh, they had more mangoes than they've ever had in their life there. And, uh, but here, things are a little more delayed in California. And so they typically ripen in like August, September, October. But I didn't notice the, this one on the tree until a few weeks ago. And so I picked it and I put it and it was already ripe on the tree. It was like soft on the tree. That means it was like ready to go. There's uh, a cross section, <laughs> cross section. And as you can see, uh, one part's missing, and that's the part that someone else ate other than us before we got to it. But uh, there's a little bit of fiber in here, and now we're gonna cut the sides off of it to get every little bit of goodness off this fruit that we can. It's cutting like butter. It is so smooth. And it smells just outrageous. What does it smell like, girls? A mango. Like a, like, like a mango. A mango. <laughs> like a mango. <laughs> but like a really good mango, right? Not like yeah. a peppermint mango. All right. So now the most important part, we're going to let these two experts taste the fruit. We're even going to get their friend Stella. Stella, come over here. We're going to do some. And Hugo. Hugo wants some. Hugo wants some too. Oh. All right. Here's a chunk. Hugo definitely, good, Hugo. Hugo definitely wants What do you it. think? What do you think, Hugo? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely is. Oh, no. Hugo, you want some mango? Here you go, buddy. Here you go. 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 Here you
He realizes he doesn't know anything. No, he he dumped it out. It's on the floor. It's on the floor now. All right, so here we go. We are going to cut the rest of this out. This is probably good enough for the taste test for the moment. I'll eat all the leftovers later. Okay, everybody, who wants the first taste? How about Ray Ray? No, our guest, Stella. Yes, Stella. All right. <laughs> good. It tastes yeah. like a tropical mango smoothie. Oh, really? Okay. That's very sounds, sweet. That sounds really nice. All right, and born in Lafayette. How is cool it like is really smooth? Yeah, it's, it goes down like butter. Wow. That's so good. All right. Rea de Adea. That's probably one of the best mangoes I've ever had. Really? I feel the same. It's so actually good. So one of the best good. mangoes you've ever had. Wow. <laughs> born in Lafayette in your shade house without anybody noticing. That is a really good mango. Do you okay. think there's going to be more next year? <laughs> How long so did it take? Whoa, whoa, you need to get the tree bigger. Yeah. I mean, there was so. no special cold protection or anything for this tree other than just a little bit of shade fabric for it. Wow. So, all right. So now we're going to do a muppy taste test. Oh, Hugo, you don't like mango. All right, here she goes. There goes Muppy. That is so good. Good? <laughs> that, that's like next It level. tastes like a pina colada. Yeah. Yeah. But like, well not a, mm, I don't know, it has like a pineapple flavor. Yeah. It's super tropical. Nice, all right. So last but not least. It's so sweet too, oh my gosh. Scary, hairy, scary Tastes daddy. like someone flavored it. Yeah, no, it tastes fake. Oh my god. It's like such a perfect taste that you're like, this is not real. <laughs> it tastes like a bunch of tropical flowers. Yeah, it yeah. just makes it Like a floral bouquet. Should I just eat all of them? Wait, what type of mango is that? Uh, this is a carry mango. I think we've concluded that, yes, you can grow mangoes in Lafayette. And, uh, they can taste No special good. treatment whatsoever. It was in a 15 gallon container. The tree was only like six feet tall. And um, it sat in my shade house, neglected, with just mist going in a couple times a week. And the thing fruited, made this giant fruit that I didn't even know was there until I went rummaging through the house. Got the fruit out, picked it. It was already ripe on the tree about a week ago. I decided to put it in the refrigerator to preserve it so that when I would still have it when these two came home. Yeah, thank you so much. That was really good. Maybe it was actually it. just softened up for a while off the vine, too. I just think it's a really good mango. That's it. <laughs>